you know, productive members of their society, yada, yada, yada. However, um, however, it, it, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if I want that. What, what, what matters is the law. The law says that if anything goes wrong, I'm going to prison and she gets the house. And, okay. and then I got to pay child support. And, and if I lose my job and I can't pay child support, I go to prison. I go back to prison. Listen, listen, before we get to the doom and gloom, right? So, all right. So then we some, we tend to analyze people that are successful in life, right? We tend to analyze, let's say, the business the business people, the the, the business mogul and, uh, you know, the, the rich individual, even some of the rappers and stuff like that. So for some weird reason, these guys, they continue to get married. They continue to get married and stuff like that. And um, as rich as they are, and if I'm a person coming up and I'm looking at this thing and I'm like, well, oh, marriage is stupid. You know, I, if I get all that money and stuff like that, sure, I'm not going to get married. You know, I'm going to be like a, a Mayweather and stuff like that. Yet, when you're looking at, let's say, the the environment that the, the children of, let's say, Mayweather or or uh, Future or any of these people that keep having kids out of wedlock. So then do you think that these kids that are not in the protection of marriage do you think they are going to become productive member of society or do you think they're going to continue to no. perpetuate this, this right. same environment, which we are not complaining about? Right. Exactly. They're going to, they're going to continue to crank out Xerox copies of themselves and continue to create like, yeah, these, these increasingly dysfunctional relationships. Yeah. So then it's fair to say that these guys are still messing up the world without marriage. They're still taking being taken advantage of without marriage. They still being. Uh, I'm uh, sorry. I'm sorry. I don't understand you. What? How, how do you mean? All right. So what I'm saying is this, right? These okay. They are. We tend to blame. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. I wanna. So, marriage sometimes. Well, you know, we tend to look at it as if like, um, you know, we're doing this for us, right? But a lot of time is it's like a layer of protection. For the offspring, for the children, which we are now raising, right? It's Absolutely, like an, that's that's the number one reason, in my opinion, for marriage. Yes. So then, if you're gonna have a business, right, you're gonna have an investment. So wouldn't you try to choose your partner according to what you believe your business is supposed to be? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. You, so you, you want to match? You want to match so, values? Okay. Yeah. Sure. Well, so is it fair to say that you know? Most men, we grow up without knowing what we value, and we going on. We looking at things based on love, you know, same as women, right? Instead of actually value, because yes, if let's say I agree with you, love doesn't exist. Women doesn't know how to love men the same way that men would know how to love women. All right, let's take right. that out of the equation. So then, what's the next best thing? You know, find a woman to actually share your value. Find a woman that actually wants to be, more, okay, let's say business-minded, that wants to actually raise their children in a, a you know, in a home that's uh, that's actually, you know, willing to at least follow command of someone they deem to be a leader. Correct? Let's say love has nothing to do yes, with it. Yes, yes, I agree. I agree with what you said, but but that's not how it is in reality in reality she's not going to follow you and if you demand that would she follow follows you would, would you follow someone that's not worth following um well i, I don't know how to answer that question because i i don't want to follow a woman in marriage i want a woman to follow me i want to be the leader well no but i'm just saying like you know you you do follow all the leaders right you, there are men you look up to correct oh yeah oh yes of course exactly so why are they worth looking up to? Well, uh, I would say I, I esteem other men that I, that I consider to be leaders because, uh, you know, they, they exhibit certain qualities that uh, they have certain qualities that, that you like, that are good, that are profitable, that, that produce, you know, a good society. It makes everyone safe. It creates an environment where everyone can, you know, okay. make money so and, and have now, a good life. So from, from all right, so then from the macrocasm, let's go down to the microcasm. Let's go back to the the, the, the the nuclear, right? So then wouldn't it be fair to say that you only try to have in your circle the people that actually share your vision? 
Yes, yes. They you want to surround all yourself all with people who have similar values. values. Right? All right, then. So then, therefore, now, by starting with yourself, having a moral stand, uh, having a moral, um, having a moral compass, and then you don't deviate from that. So then now, when these women come into your life, you vet them properly, right? And then you make sure that uh, nothing is certain, but at the same time, having the basic understanding and the basic principle of what you want in life and you don't shy away from it. I believe that women tend to follow that more than just a guy that's just, uh, you know, as soon as the first sign of trouble, like, you do not challenge my rule and stuff like that, right? Because women are going to challenge you no matter what. There's no such thing as a relationship when a woman don't try to get their way, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. I agree with you. That's fine. That's fine. But here's the problem. Here's the problem. It's always been like that. Women will always shit test you. That, that's true. Yeah. So then how come, there's, there's this so then problem how come, now? How come relationship in the past tends to work when women will always use some shit test, but now it doesn't work anymore? Because, because men don't have any power. Because women have the power now. If anything goes wrong, she can call the police and you're going to jail. So so, so the power, is it, was it, uh, you know, is the power given to you or is the power taken away? I mean, well, you know, I mean, you know, I, I that, that's a great question. Uh, I, I guess ultimately I'd say it's been taken away. Let, let me give you an example. But then how do so we get that power back? I mean, ultimately, I think it's going to come down to violence. But uh, what I was going to say is, uh, let, let me give you an example. We, we, right. live in the United, we live in the United States, right? Uh, in the United States, uh, you cannot, legally, you cannot hit your wife. If, uh, if there's any sort of uh, physical altercation, uh, the woman can call the police. And uh, according to, I think it's called the Duluth model of domestic violence, by law, it's written, it's codified, it's codified into law, it's written into law. Whenever there's a, uh, a physical altercation, the police come, they have to take someone to jail. And it's written into the law, the person that they have to take to jail is the person who is most likely to be the aggressor. That's written into law. And then it's also written into law, the person who is most likely the aggressor is the person who is bigger in stature. So... And this, again, this is all written into law. You can look at the law. The law says, basically, you know, when when anything goes down, we're going to come and we're going to arrest the person who's bigger and stronger. So then, well, who, all right. So, who, who, who is that? Who is that? That's the man. That's the man. All right, now, a good question. All right. So then if we can identify the law as one of the issues, that actually why part men, of, of men are taken away. So then... Why don't we now also get into the the aspect of the laws and try to um you know and go for it, be more involved in the political prospects prospect of things in our society? Yeah, that's a good. That's another good question. Uh, so yeah, I mean, what I would uh, I would answer that by saying, um, we have, uh, but it's not working. It's a lost cause. Uh, so ever since women have gotten the right to vote, women will always outnumber men. Um. So, so do you believe that uh, you know women's right to vote should be taken away from them? Uh, yes, ultimately. Why is that? Well, because, um, okay. So let let, let, let me um, let me let me offer that example I was going to offer a minute ago. So here, here, in United, here, here in the United States. If there's, a, if there's an argument or altercation, the man goes to jail. But take another country, for example, like let's say Russia. In Russia, mm. if a man hits his wife and the woman calls the police, the man does not go to jail. It, it is written into their okay. law that sometimes it's uh, it's okay that you just got to fucking slap a bitch. Or, excuse my French. I'm sorry. Excuse my French. Um, okay. But what I mean so to say is – so would you rather live in a country like Russia? Well, I mean, you know, I, I don't know that I, I, I don't know that I want to live in Russia, uh, but I, I do when it comes to gender dynamics. Yes, I, I understand that um, other countries do have a different uh, uh, viewpoint on what is acceptable and what is not acceptable. Um, OK, he, see, here's the thing, right? 
we tend to sometimes fantasize about why some some of the rights that women don't have in other countries but what we don't realize that these are the country um you know men's rights are also being undermined as well you think you can actually do what you want in a, in a country like Afghanistan or, you know, in a country that is like hardcore Muslim? That's a good point. You have certain certain um, you know, certain things that you have to do as a man. And the, your responsibility increased 10 times fold. So it's not just, you're looking at, let's say, the women are, you know, being, um, you know, they have to cover up, they have to do a whole bunch of stuff. Men can't do certain things either. Like, for instance, you probably won't even be able to watch porn. Some of these things that, you know, all the things that, you would take for granted here in the West, you know, and but you're looking at the women's like, yeah, women's rights should be taken away. You know, some of their rights should be taken away because they don't know any better. Right. But these other countries, they're looking at you as well as, you know, the the, the person that is not in a position of power. Like, you know what? Men's right. You know, your rights should be taken away from you, too, because you don't you, you know, you don't know any better. Uh, right. I, I so, also, un unfortunately, I also agree with you there. Uh, for example, you brought up Muslim countries in um, in Sharia Islam, <clears throat> in, in Sharia-led uh, theocracies like, let's say, Iran. Um, a man, according to Muslim law, men men have to get married. Imagine if you're a man like me and you don't want to get married. Well, then, you, then all of a sudden, the government, like you said, they want to come and take your rights and say you you have to get married. And yeah, I don't agree with that either. 